are you doing? Uh, another Ecamm live tutorial today really. We've gone through, we've done a few over the last couple of weeks now. We started off with our uh, Ecamm, uh, what is Ecamm Live? Then we did our Ecamm 101 and uh, just really thinking, you know, what can we do carrying on in a bit of a series? I still want an idea for next week, but uh, really on this one, let's have a look at the Stream Deck. And I was kind of prompted to this one <laughs> um, that's better. Uh, I was kind of prompted to this one because uh, I was talking to a customer the other day who was talking about needing to switch between two cameras. And I said, you know, what would be really good is if you could actually, um, I was explaining, sorry, I'm thrown out because I've realized you didn't see that, but my microphone was just sitting over there instead of here. So that was why it's suddenly gone louder. Apologies for that. Um, what I said to her is, you know, it, you can switch between two scenes and have the, the cameras working like that. But I said, better still, have you seen the Stream Deck? And she said, what on earth is a Stream Deck? I've never heard of one. And I thought, right, here's a good topic for doing on one of these lives like this. Um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was, it, it, yeah, don't worry. The, the mic's sorted. That's an easy one. It's just me uh, in a little bit of a rush getting ready for this. But um because I normally go live at five here, and I went live at five, and Rachel suddenly went, it's four o'clock you're going live, isn't it? Um, but anyway, let's get into this. So what is a Stream Deck? Uh, firstly, we're... Um... <laughs> right, I've got to stop looking at the chat because it's distracting me. Uh, but great to have you here, everybody. And please, um, yeah, join in in the chat over there. Certainly when we get to some questions, if you want to ask about this, uh, we will absolutely be coming back to that. Uh, but let me just firstly unpack this. So what is a Stream Deck? The, I believe kind of a, you know, the definition of this is that it's a studio controller with programmable buttons to trigger actions in apps like Ecamm Live. Um, it's a physical device. If I show you here, this is my Stream Deck that sits at the side of me. That's not a good angle for being able to see my keys. Um, so it's, it's a, a a box like this, it's attached over USB, and uh, I can click buttons on here, and it changes my scenes. So we'll look in a few minutes at what you can do with a Stream Deck in relation to Ecamm. We're really focusing on Ecamm today for the use of the Stream Deck. Uh, and out of interest, it's made by Elgato, who make the Cam Link that many of you use if you're using external cameras. A uh, little fun fact, you might not have realized that. But let me just run through, because I've got here, what I've got is this Stream Deck XL, but there are lots of options that you have now for Stream Decks. And so I've queued a few up here. Um, that's right, I've just got a message off Rach saying that my sound's really low. It must be from an old one. Um, so let me run through these, because I've queued them up in my Stream Deck. So we're going to run through them. The First of all, the, the lowest in the range, the baby in the Stream Deck range, is the Stream Deck Mini, all right? This is a very small, you saw my one there that's got all those buttons on it. This one has got just six buttons, six keys on here, and kicks in, it starts us off at $79. Uh, so this really is an entry level. Uh, personally, this wouldn't do it for me. I could very easily fill up those six buttons. Uh, but there might be occasion when actually you think, do you know what, I just really need to cut between a couple of scenes, that would do me. The next one up, and this would be the most popular, is uh, their Mark II. So this is really where the Stream Deck started with this 15 key switcher. Um, and you could then, and they've, this is, I think the third version of this, I know it's called a Mark II, but I'm, there was certainly two before this. Um, so this is the 15 key version. This is $129. And I would say this is the most popular. This is the one that uh, most folk are using. And uh, I, I've got one of these. I used it for a long time. Um, but then I've upgraded to the XL, which is a 32 key. So it's doing, they're all doing exactly the same thing. You're just getting more options and more buttons that you can place under there. So we're now 32 keys, as I say. This is $249. Um, now, then we get into some fun ones. So here is a pedal, and I have one of these. Um, I 
do find a couple of glitches with this. It'll be interested to hear anybody else that's got a pedal if you also run into some glitches. But the idea of this, I'll pick mine up quickly here and uh, flick this camera over on this one. You can see here that here it is. It's a, uh, a, 